partners came out. Chris Broad batted, even though he was off the field with a groin strain this morning. His partner was Graham Fowler, and it's Fowler who takes strike now in the very first over of the second innings. Joel Garner is the bowler. He's got away with it. For one fraction of a second there, I'm certain Graham Fowler was going to try and hook that and then changed his mind. that bounced a little bit more than normal after the euphoria of the first innings Broad goes now without scoring and Garner has slipped through David Gower prefers to come in at four but he's in at three this match Garner's got the new ball it's hard and bouncy Great pedigree that under pressure. Oh, and he's gone this time, I think. There's a big shout gone up. The West Indies jubilant, but no response at all up there. And uh, good job you can't lick read. That's the most concerted appeal we've seen in this test match. Well, everyone sure, except one man. again to go a great cheer going up they finally got off that 14 mark single to go he knows what it's like out there all those uh, people down there would certainly like to see an innings from uh, David Gow today Still no change. It's raced away the fine leg. Oh, well, this outfield is fast here today. It doesn't need more than a touch from a bowler of Marshall's pace, and it's over the ropes. So relief for David Gow there to move into double figures. Cracking shot. Well, that's as nicely poised and timed a stroke as we've seen from Graham Fowler in the whole match. And Clive Lloyd's picked up David Gower. Small's first test wicket in England. Second wicket in test cricket. He picked up one against Australia. Gower's gone, and that's a blow for England because he was looking pretty good. Seventy-four the lead with eight wickets in hand, England. That was a nice start for Alan Lamb. Yes, and what an over this is for Milton Small. Brought on to take the place of Malcolm Marshall, who was at odds with himself 
Small has got two wickets, Gower and Fowler. The first one, a very good delivery that cut away from Gower, and then that one that ripped through Fowler's defence and beat him for sheer pace. ground who uh, follow Middlesex who will be wishing getting every possible success in this innings <laughs> and one over of Milton Small well, you can't do better than that two boundaries one off back foot and this one everything there and 50 came up in 92 minutes from 121 balls. The shot to four. The attacks can be carried back to the West Indians. They've picked up three quick wickets. The natural game of both Lamb and Gatting is to attack the bowlers. Harper again to Lamb. Clear the field. Right side, that's going over the ropes now to four. Just a significant blow off the slow burner. And the 50 partnership comes up for. Lamb and Gatting. Good effort from them, exactly what was needed at the time they came together. And he's gone again. Unbelievable. He's made 29 runs and made them in delightful fashion by Gatting. And once again, he's out OBW without playing a stroke. The first ball of Marshall's spell. Don't blame the rule. The rule was brought in because uh, batsmen years ago were just thrusting their pad at the ball without bothering to play a shot. And it's a very, very good law of cricket. I think another few minutes and we might well have seen a night watchman. But um, 25 minutes to go and a desperately important 25-minute session it's going to be for England. Logie. Oh, what a good piece of fielding. I think there's no doubt here that a direct hit and uh, Botham would have been on his way. Desperately dangerous single, good pick up and he's way short as that ball whistles past the stumps. Good shot, he kept it down very well. There are two men waiting there for that stroke. If he missed cues, he got it precisely between them. Just out of Dujon's reach, they valuable runs. Century comes up. Lovely display of aggression right at the death here. And it's that kind of aggression England will need on Monday when they start off again at 114 for four on the fourth day of this Lord's Test match. Both them is 17, not out. Lamb, 30. He played pretty well today, Alan Lamb. He's a courageous player, wasn't always middling it, but he's still there. And Mike Gatting, I thought, batted splendidly for 29 before once again falling LBW without playing a stroke. This time to Marshall who finished up with one for 30, Garner one for 25, and Milton Small coming in from the nursery end, six overs, one maiden, two for 24. The run rates and over rates in this match make interesting reading. England in the second innings have been scoring at a wonderful rate, 50 runs per 100 balls. 
They've been receiving, I'm afraid, 78 balls an hour, but the overrate overall in the test match has been very, very low. So the situation as uh, we come into the fourth day's play is that England are 155 runs ahead. They have six wickets in hand. It's uh, an intriguing test match. A very, very interesting situation with Lamb and Botham there, both aggressive players, and West Indies just itching to get at them on Monday morning. Today, though, the performance of uh, the six hours play came from Ian Botham, who joined a select band of players. He's already been there once. That was in the match against Pakistan, and he took eight for 34 in 1978. Eight wickets in an innings at Lords for England. The first time today it's ever been done against the West Indians. Eight for 103.